promise you. Yeah. All the toys, all the toys are out of reach. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't quite see who it is. How did I know that one of you <laughs> would do something? It looks like John Barrowman. Barrowman, yeah. Is it yeah, Barrowman? Brilliant. Oh no, Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> nice. I thought, I'd bring so I thought I'd bring somebody along. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Nice, that's, nice to see you, Tom. Thanks, yeah. for, thanks for turning up. This, this is how we bring our guests on. <laughs> He's far more uh, behaved than our, our last week's guest. Let me tell you. Um, right, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to our our, our mad yeah. webinar. Hope you're all having a good week and looking forward to a good weekend. You will see that we've got the normal duo with us, minus a panel member today. Carl Horton, good hello. Morning. Will Murphy, yeah. how are you doing? <laughs> We're going to see if we can behave this evening, gentlemen. I am sure people had to reach for the paper bags last week to breathe into. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say to be sick into, but okay, that's that's not so bad then. <laughs> either, either or. Uh, Cole yeah. Halton, come on. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good, thanks. Uh, I have to think about it a little bit, uh, as always. Uh, sun Sunday, um, started, started doing a bit of running. A bit, well, a bit of running, doing, running anyway. So, out and about, around, I know Will knows, because he's... He, it gives me a little bit of kudos on Strava, which is a bit weird because Strava's gone a little bit like Facebook. So just for how it works is that you kind of see the people that you're friends with or you're supposed to. You're supposed to see their activities and then you can click and give them a thumbs up on stuff that you think they've done all right on and then uh, just ignore them if you're not that keen on what they do. But I know Will bit probably beautiful. does a bit more cycling than the but he doesn't, he doesn't come up on my feed anymore. He used to come up on my feed with your bike oh. rides, but you don't. I have to kind of, uh, you know, you Will gives me a bit of kudos. I thought, you, I, th I thought you were snubbing me. Yeah, no, no, I'm not, no, that's what I mean. I'm not. It's it was you gave me a couple of kudos, and I thought, well, I haven't seen Will do a bike ride for a while, so I, I clicked and I thought, oh, that's a bit weird. So it's gone a little bit like Facebook in how it kind. It yeah. must have just kind of just decided, well, you know, we won't bother showing you that one. We'll show you somebody that you've never seen for five years <laughs> and what they do on on um, Swift or whatever it is. So I get all these people that I don't know. Um, crop up. Um, anyway, we're up and down the lickers on, on Sunday with Seb. He did really well. Uh, Rank Cofton Park and stuff. Sort of a few other people that we know uh, from the Athletics Club. So they're obviously all kind of training around there. Um, and then uh, Monday was uh, at a little clinic over in um, Telford. That was some some bilateral sinus lifts. Couldn't use those birds though, Bill, because uh, Will, because there was just no, no bone. So it was Okay. Full on lateral lifts, um, both sides. So that was that was a bit interesting, uh, and then some lovely feedback um, midweek. So we we've sort of moved the business on, and we've got some practices that we have other clinicians working in, um, sort of under our umbrella. Um, and one of the practices kind of uh, just just giving us some feedback. <laughs> You're awful. You're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> But it was, it was, it was absolutely lovely to to hear that this kind of the the idea of the service awesome. and people going in there uh, as implantologists, their patients, um, really do like it rather than sort of going outside of the practice um, was really really nice and it's really good to see the practices um, sort of getting something else from it as well as their patients. So it was it was it was lovely feedback. I'm not blowing our own trumpet, but it was. It, you know, sometimes you, you move with these things and you don't really hear um, how they're going. So it was just nice to kind of get some some positive news about how that's kind of working. Um, and very honest as well, because, mm. you know, there were some little things that we needed you know what, to iron out. Sometimes I think. Yeah. I, yeah, can't, I think can't, sometimes yeah. you hear um, negative, oh, negative comments are normally a bit louder than positive. So I think it's really nice to have positive uh, feedback. Yeah, I think that's the nature of what it is, though, isn't it? We kind of remember, like like you do with all sorts of things, you remember criticism um, much more than you remember uh, positivity, unfortunately. I think that's just human nature. Um, you know, we, we, we are a little bit kind of like that. Um, so, yeah, it was lovely to hear it. And then, um, and then yeah, today uh, in the clinics, um, you know, a little bit of work, lots, lots, of, lots of consultations again, 
uh, really busy. And again, um, you know, full arch, full arch mm -hmm. consultations, surprising full arch consultations. You know, they were they referred in for, um, you know, maybe a missing bridge um, that they were struggling with a denture, and, and then they've gone away and researched things, and they've just come in and said, well, actually, you know, these are all failing as well. I think I've only got a few more years. I want you to consider doing, and, and the, the words were, um, all on four or all on six, mm -hmm. please. And I'm like, right, okay. Um, so, you, you know, you couldn't get uh, sort of an easier an easier case to kind of deal with because they've done all the work, they've done all the research. And that was that was really nice um, to the point where you actually kind of have to kind of almost bring them back as we all do, you know, and say, well, look, these yeah. are the options. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Um, and it just turns out it could, it could be the right option. I mean, we do have to look. It was one of these patients that every single tooth had been root filled and apicected and crowned, uh, and it was all beginning to kind of fall apart, you know, fracturing and, and everything. So, and, and dentures weren't working for them. Um, you know, and we, you get, you get those occasionally where you get that kind of sort of almost catastrophic failure of, of when it goes and then, then what, what you do. So we'll have a look at that one and see how that one goes. Nice, nice, lovely lady. So hopefully we can help her out. Well, she certainly uh, knew what she wanted. Yeah, yeah, hmm. and and uh, apart from doing the odd webinar and Zoom meetings, that is my, that's my <laughs> life now. That's, my, that's it. Oh, uh, and, and ju just you know, uh, a lot of money spent on the car for hitting potholes, and um, mm -hmm. the, the the lovely bin men, you know who you are, uh, decided that oh. they didn't want to uh, they didn't want to take the rubbish last week, and this week they didn't want to take the recycling. Um, so I don't know. I don't know who the chap is, Ooh. but you know, just yeah, sort it out, mate. You know, what's the matter with you? It's cardboard you've box. Made, you've made a big mistake once a year. What have I told you to do once a year? What do I do? Punch him. What do I do? And no, I don't. I Leave him a present. Me. Thank you, Will Murphy. I did. I did. It was wrapped up in a little purple in bag. A, in a dog poo bag. Yeah. You <laughs> yeah. Said. yeah. Well, that means nobody will pinch you. <laughs> Well, no, not even the bin men. <laughs> right, there was, there was, well, I'm glad your week's gone well. Well, well, yeah, I mean, there was there was a one concern. I mean, I was driving back, on. talking about potholes. I was driving back from um, deepest, darkest Wales. I've had a few patients kind of go because we send scans over there, and they kind of go, "We're not allowed." <laughs> it's just like the, it's like the 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 COVID police on the border are going to go, "What are you coming in here for?" And uh, well, uh, a, 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 a scan. Where's the evidence? It really, what, it's almost like that, you know. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed into Wales for a scan. You are. It's medical, so we, we are allowed to do that. Um, but I think anyway. Uh, but um, anyway, on the way back, hit another pothole. It was dark. I was driving mm. slowly. wasn't going great. And then I just heard this. And I thought, oh <laughs> no, again. No. Pulled it over. Couldn't see any issues. Carried on. Still made the noise. Uh, so I thought, well, I've only got probably about an hour and a half drive left to go. Um, I can probably make it, <laughs> but then pulled into turn a, the music up, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> smoke and all that sort of stuff. Pulled into a pub car park uh, that was empty, obviously, because no one's allowed to drink. I got underneath the car, you know, it was chucking it down with rain and everything, and uh, just part of the undercarriage had just come loose. All the nuts and bolts had uh, oh. broken off and everything like that. So I had to get that repaired. Great garage up the road, did it on the same day you know 30, 30 quid job done so i was pleased that my car's uh, still got a few thousand miles in it hopefully <laughs> then we won't go on we won't talk about congestion charges in birmingham because that's <laughs> just going to wind me up Ooh, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Let, let's move swiftly on <laughs> yeah. well thanks for well, you, thanks for your time everybody it's been lovely <laughs> talking to you <laughs> good night <laughs> <laughs> well, Murphy, come on. How's your week been? I, I feel like I'm going to say exactly the same thing in some respects. Obviously, on the on the Strava uh, front, um, yeah, it's been nice to get out on the bike in the in the real outside, you know, and get uh, the little kudos thumbs up for my real friends um, <laughs> who who will take the time to you know give me a, give me a proper thumbs up even though I give them thumbs up, you know, for their little runs around the park. But I'm not bitter. It's fine. It's, it's all okay. I'm over it. I'm completely over it. Um, but anyway, apart that from that... But... <laughs> Who? No, it's not um, but apart from that, it's been, yeah, it's a mirror image, you know, same kind of thing, doing... Uh, 
plenty of cases, everything, consultations all coming through, lots of work on my Harpenden job. They're trying to get me to open other days and things because... Wow, great. You're free you know, on a Friday. Surgery. <laughs> and unfortunately, yes, I think I am going to have to um, volunteer oh. one of those because bizarrely oh. enough, like you're saying, somebody... Um, comes in for a consultation last thing on Wednesday between me and the prosthodontist and yeah they're signing up for uh, eight implants full arch upper lower and they want all implants putting in you know on the same day with the sedationist in so there you go that'll be a Friday taken care of won't it um, <laughs> it will be a Friday yeah. taken care of yeah yeah. Oh, and fantastic. How's that? How does that work with you guys? Is that um, you place the implants and then you've got the prosthodontist that comes in and does the restorative side of it? Is there anybody yeah, else I mean, that gets involved as well? We are, I mean, it's a sort of multidisciplinary center, really. So yeah. um, there's orthodontists, there's perio guys um, in there, and endo guys as well coming in. So on, on my Wednesday, there's the prosthodontist I, I work with, and he's sort of down one end of the corridor, I'm in the other. And sometimes with the bigger cases, we'll have a co-consultation. Great, and good, yeah. Yeah, and so we can kind of sit there and everybody's singing off the same hymn sheet and, yeah, getting getting things lined up, really. So that's been quite good because there was a little bit of chopping and changing with a few people coming and going um since the the original owner who sold the practice he carried on and so i kind of worked to you know his direction really which was good because he was um he, he was well into his 60s and called a spade a spade he was he was quite happy to tell me if one of my implants you know was a millimeter <laughs> off and um you know and i'd messed the whole case up for him you know which Obviously, we hadn't, but, you know, he had very exacting standards, which was really good, you know, for me. And then a few other guys came in and out, you know. There, there, there are people out there, with all due respect, who've got a lot of qualifications who probably just don't have that experience in restoring implants. So a lot of, a lot of good theory knowledge, um, but in terms of, you know, what their, what their experience was like, you know, was a, was a little bit iffy. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so the chap who I work with now is great. You know, we both have a similar outlook on things. And so it's a pretty nice sort of slick operation, really. You know, mm -hmm. they, can, they can either do two separate consults or a, a co-consult and we can drive the treatments forward. But like you, sometimes you're looking in the diary going, mm, right. Where are we gonna where are we gonna fit that in? Yeah. So obviously the own, the the owners are kind of like, yeah, happy days. Open up another day, please. You know, Brilliant. come back down. Let's do it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. The co consults must work well, though. Will I mean exactly what you said? You're both there, same time, patient, and that plan must be very very smooth. Then with you both there. Yeah, and again, because I've you know been restoring implants for over 20 years um you know if he's talking about various stuff i can pitch in or i can talk about some of the restorative things as i see it um so you know i like to think i'm not just there checking implants in anywhere i'm coming at it from the you know the restorative driven yeah. point of view and yeah it's that's all all working pretty well and uh newell and dorich are all again yeah carrying on happy days all good have you two found that over the last well maybe it was when they made the announcement i don't know or whether it's because of the vaccination or it could be both have you found that there's a lot of people that seem to be walking around less stressful now almost like little clouds being that's because the kids have come back to days. school <laughs> that was one day well, that was like party yeah. capital <laughs> yeah well that, that that's definitely for the the kids of school age isn't it you know so the so the parents of, of those are all being super happy and chirpy and um yeah and i think probably 
the over 60s plus uh, also seem very relaxed. It definitely seems to have affected the country's psyche, really, hasn't it? You know? Yes. So that's, um, yeah, a little light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I, I mean, I, yeah. I agree, apart from the fact that we've got four new Brazilian variants come into the, being identified today. Um, but I, I, I totally agree. I think the patients are kind of, just to put a damper on it, the patients are... Um, <laughs> no, they're all cleanly think, shaven, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> did I say that? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, you did. Did. But yeah, I agree. I think that um, the comments from the patients that are coming in, um, I mean, one today, you know, I've, I've had both my vaccinations, because when, when you ask them to take their mask off so that you can do the exam, uh, not many, but one or two kind of like, mm, and, you know, they have that kind of apprehension, understandably. And mm. some of them are coming in and just, you know, yeah, I'm really comfy. I've been, va been vaccinated. And it's not, um, <coughs> it's not uh, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for, but it's they're still, they're still diligent and they're still, you know, apprehensive, but they, they feel a lot more relaxed. They seem a lot more kind of like, you know, I'm, I feel safer yeah. now that I've, you know, been jabbed, um, yeah. I guess, than they would have done before. And yeah, I, I, I do get, there is a bit more of a, the conversations, not all about, you know, oh, I've been stuck indoors. <clears throat> um, this is the yeah. first time, but it seems to be a lot more about, isn't it miserable today? Isn't it cold? Um, <laughs> and back to the old kind of conversation. <laughs> yeah, what else can we moan about? I mean, my, fa my favourite one. My favourite one today was we, we. I don't know about yourself, but we book about an hour for the for the consorts. And uh, this lovely chap came in, and you know, chatting away to me. In fact, actually, he mentioned that he'd been vaccinated uh, and they had both things. Lovely chat. I think he was about 83, 87 maybe. And um, as, as we got talking in about about ten, fifteen minutes, and he went, "Are we going to be long? Because the taxi's waiting." <laughs> <laughs> and, well, we've got an hour. Uh, but if you've got a taxi waiting and you, and you, you want us to rush along, then yeah, fine. So it, it, it turned from, from an hour consultation to let's get you back in that taxi if that's what you, you want to do kind of thing. It was a, a, bit of a great, real, interesting know. character. He's hilarious. Um, I don't know about you. I don't know if you, you're, I, I'm finding I'm have to hold, hold back my sarcasm because lots of people are coming in <laughs> going, do you want me to take my mask off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. like, no, no, <laughs> just leave it on. Just I'll, I'll just on. cut through it, the middle bit. <laughs> yeah, 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 100%. Yeah. My, 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 I am talk... definitely having to bite my tongue, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, one of the, talking about, you mentioned about a consultant orthodontist. I was watching the news, it was either last night or, or the night before the news was on in the background. I was tapping away doing some work, I think. And, um, I, and I, heard, I thought, what did they just say? And they were talking about the uh, effect of uh, COVID on certain wards uh, and how it affected the the care that people were uh, being given um, in, in general, as in certain operations have been cancelled and, and all this. And then they said, look, we've, we've spoken to a consultant orthodontist about this. And they interviewed this. And I thought, what? And they had this consultant orthodontist. And I thought, surely they've, they've got that wrong. They mean sort of like orthopedic surgeon or, or something like that. But no, it was a, a consultant orthodontist talking about how sort of straining teeth had been delayed. <laughs> I'm thinking, well, you know, of all the people they could have spoken to, like all the, the we talked about this earlier on, all the cancer ops that have been cancelled and all, all yeah. I, I just for some reason, you know, straightening didn't, you know, I don't feel that that is a major loss in terms of, you know, delaying orthodontic well, treatment. It, it, is, it, is, it, it is in his his world or yeah. people, I guess, with, yeah, class two, give <laughs> seven, malocclusions. <laughs> or... yeah, well, I heard it and I thought, boxes. yeah, I heard it and I was kind of, you know, I, I thought, nah, they don't mean consultant orthodontist. They've got that wrong. But because it's an orthodontist, I thought, oh, it's dentistry. Yeah, yeah. And I looked up when they, in, and then they got the name and, and then the title and I just thought, <laughs> they do <laughs> those em emergency braces <laughs> <laughs> I tell you I what smart thought... pods smart pods in uh, cannon hill park i think uh but why are we advertising smart pod anyway they're in cannon hill park i think they could have been in there yesterday uh which also i thought well this is bizarre but they I turned up the packet. go yeah. on there's they a delay sorry cannon hill park um doing their their smile you know pop in is it smile smile direct or whatever it is um, but they were direct club. 
Yeah, yeah, those guys. <laughs> yeah, uh, pop, popped up. Yeah, they got at, adverts uh, and everything. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> not not only them, but we've we've been Evo in uh, opening up in Solihull, so they'll be doing the uh, all the full arch that Will and I've just been talking about. And yeah. then uh, the other one that popped up on my Facebook um, was um, NHS uh, negligence for dentists. And the I Will, I know that. you love it, but all the Evo ones, all the comments, because I, I, I quite like looking at the comments sometimes. Yeah. Oh, bloody much. It's a rip off. Don't bother. These guys are just after you. You know, just reams and reams of abuse. Yeah. And then I thought, well, I'm going to read the negligence ones as well. And, yeah, I went to my dentist and he ripped all my teeth out. I can't wait to speak to the <laughs> guy. And it was just, it was like that. It was just reams. Of, and I thought, oh, my. I, I it's, like that, uh, it's like that car crash thing that you cannot stop but look. You know, it, you know which, which I had an invention for that. I, I, in my head, when you're driving past and there's a car crash on the, the side of the motorway, my invention was to build these little pull up, push up screens that you have that have trees and bushes on that they put around the car crash. So you can't see the car crash. So you just carry oh. on at the same speed. Anyway, there's an implantologist. Tell me about it. Tell me about yeah. it. Sorry. Anyway, I interrupted both of you several times. I I'm going to be quiet now. <laughs> well, I, I think I was going to, going to say, yeah, if there's one lesson I've learned, I think advertising implants on social media, uh, forget it. <laughs> Not unless you just want a load of abuse. I mean, a lot, a, lot, a lot of social media is just about being shouted at anyway, isn't it? You know, yeah. certainly Twitter putting things out there. But, um, yeah, I, I, I think forget all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But actually those um, all-on-four factories are, are sort of interesting in terms of the advertising because obviously they're not, generating work through referrals are they it's not no. word of mouth like hey i went to evo dental or wherever you know and tell one mate i think it's possibly trying to advertise on the you know the cost um is obviously the big one isn't it that's that's yeah. what they're trying to do but it's got to be there's only kind of two models really isn't there you know and, and one of them is sort of pile them high and sell them cheap so um yeah you know it, that's it's got to be a numbers game hasn't it that's the only the only way you can make things like that work yeah yeah i i agree i mean they've got to get the numbers in to to make it work but the the way they the way they've kind of done it i think it, it certainly looks like it, it works for them but like you say they've got they get the numbers in but they do it in a i don't know why i'm advertising them in this way but <laughs> but in terms of when you when you actually look at the the process of what they do yeah they they have a you know, the consultation, I think the consultation is marketed at an hour, an hour and a half. They've got the CBCT machines in, they've got the milling machines in. Mm -hmm. They're using, they're not using, they're not cutting back on anything. Um, so you're quite right. It, it, it's just basically, this is all we do. We don't do single units or, or you know, single teeth or bridges. We're just doing primarily this. And we'll only do it if, and I think they understand. Do you work free though? No, I wouldn't. I, I think they're salaried. So it's not it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me, but it is clearly for some people. Um, but, I, you know, it's it's a business model and it's it's a, it seems to me like a very sensible business model if you can get the numbers in. But they must be able to. They must be because they've done it in London. They've done it in Liverpool. And now they're doing it in Birmingham. So fair play. But if you well, want it, does, personal it will, touch, it will beg the touch. Throw money at it. If you want a personal touch, go and say, well, I don't know. It could be he could be there. He could be there. But <sighs> you get the personal touch then. <laughs> You Sorry, get a mug what, if you go to Wills. <laughs> yeah. Once they come back. Um, yeah, um, to be honest, it does, make, it does make you beg the question that, you know, there's going to be cases, possibly, I would imagine, where there are, they are perfectly valid teeth. Um, have I lost you? No, no, still good. No, we're still here. Is that my connection or yours? We're... We're we're still okay. good, mate. Yeah, well, there's going to be, you know, perfectly valid teeth. And for the business model to work, you know, you've got to clear the decks, haven't you? Everything's yeah. got to be um, taken out of the way. So four implants and a, you know, full art bridge can go in. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And, and, yeah. Right, well. Discuss, etc. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, I, I know there's quite a few people that um, just don't like the idea of it, do they? They're really kind of, you know, it, it's, I won't say that they won't touch it, but it's not, it's something that they just do not like as a, as a treatment option. Um, yeah. There's a lot of implantologists that I, that, that I talk to. And then there's the other, the other side that, you know, they're all, they think it's the, the bee's knees and they think it's great. And, you know, and I'm probably like you a bit more pragmatic about it. You know, there's certain cases that I think it's going to work for. And, and, you know, they're, they're not everywhere. Um, and it's, it's a case by case scenario. Mm. Plus the, you know, the FP1, FP3 kind of situation where, you know, what, what sort of restoration are you providing? Are you going to hack the alveolus down, yeah. uh, put your implants in, you know, get, get rid of a load of bone to make way for plastic? Um, or are you going to spend your time on a, you know, zero bone loss type concept and be trying to eliminate pink and try and make things anatomically correct? And how much does the patient even know about any of that sort of stuff? Yeah. You know, are they expecting yeah. things to be like teeth or are they going to be going, ah, I've got a plastic denture screwed into my mouth that, and you know, no matter how bad your teeth are prior to that, you've still got teeth, even if they're all periodontally involved. So that, that transition clearly, you know, has to be um, described accurately to the patients. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be really interested to see within this, business model how that's done now i'm presuming they thought of all this sort of stuff i think i think they have and, yeah i'm sure um, they have you know you'd imagine they must have yeah oh. yeah they, 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 they you've gone you you have gone a little bit quiet now mate so, yes and still yeah is he, is he he's back oh there you go yeah you'd be good at statues well, not really. We heard most. We heard pretty much everything you said, mate. To be fair, it was just right at the end. Yeah. Um, I'll do but, some secret shopping. Will see, secret I'll shopping. Go in as a yeah. So um, be careful. I, I know <laughs> that you've been itching to tell me about it, but I haven't seen it. Um, what did you think of the uh, Oprah Winfrey interview? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, oh, no. Do you no, know no, what no, the whole no, no. thing is a bit of a media circus isn't it it's um you know i i think on the one hand you have to take um the things they say very seriously you know if yeah. people do make those accusations you know f for me i'm pretty you know probably a bit of an old tree hugging uh kind <laughs> of yaks wool jumper wearing lefty well I'm not one lefty but I'm just kind of like I'm I'm quite mindful of a lot of these sort of these sorts of situations and I and I and I think you know I'm not a big royalist at the end of the day um but at the same time you know something about people moaning about how bad their life is at the same time um you know from their Californian mansions also makes you a little bit cynical as well so, you know, I've no doubt that she probably had a properly miserable time, but a bit naive, really, if you're getting married to, um, you know, the Queen's grandson and you're devoting yeah. your life to royal service, you know, do a bit of research and, um, you know. <laughs> yeah. Careful what you're saying now. Careful what you're saying now, Will, because Kate will get up and walk off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll watch that as well. Yeah. I know. <laughs> So I, yeah, I it's, it's all just a bit of a media feeding frenzy, isn't it? Really, you know, it's um, just a bit of a circus. So you know, all good entertainment, I suppose. At the end of the yeah. day, yeah, you know what, though, yeah. You know what, Will? Doesn't it sound like though? And I think you've summed it up really well. I really do. Um, there's some truth in it somewhere, and there's some other bits. Maybe it's hard to to believe, but I, I just wonder if that was any other couple i wonder if it would be described as air in your dirty washing i wonder i don't yeah, know yeah absolutely uh, and i think um i mean do you know what i don't blame them if if i had a choice between opening a garden center in leeds um or living in a californian mansion getting paid <laughs> on netflix um i know which one hmm. i would choose um but at the same time, then, you know, why why bother with the Oprah 
wimp-free interview you know if you want a quiet life or if you don't want a quiet life um you know you know maybe it's write just, some sort of memoir highlight payment from james corden wasn't enough so they had to do the opera one to kind of yeah. top it up a yeah yeah <laughs> absolutely so yeah definitely on our serious issues. do you know what they're very well yeah never say never yeah <laughs> An open invite out, you know. We have the whole family on. We've got room for six, I think, hosts. So, we? yeah, they can they can double up, can't they? Because they they're related to be in the same sort of room. <laughs> yeah, we could but we then, could squeeze we could squeeze them in. Um, maybe when we're having Tom Cruise on properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> when is he free? I can't believe you two are actually. Well, it, you know, his connection problems were a bit rubbish. He doesn't really. He's not <laughs> not that tech savvy. But yeah, he's worse, than, he worse make, than Ben. The odd decent not movie. So all that Mission Impossible stuff. What about the Mission Impossible? What do you mean he's not tech savvy? I've seen him. Oh, <laughs> you know what? Actually, he's not, is it? It's uh, the other guy that does all the tech. He just turns up and takes a face mask off. Well, I, I should have had the phone being lowered down on a sort of wire. <laughs> yes. Do, 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 just do, do, of, yeah, do, do, music. Do, That's do, the do. one wheel. <laughs> Uh, right, I think on that note, gentlemen, I think that is a lovely time to end this evening's web, uh, webinar. Uh, thank you both, Will. Thank you very, very much. Carl Horton, thank you very thank you. much. Everybody out there, hope you've enjoyed the madness yet again. And uh, have a lovely weekend, and we look forward to seeing you next week. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yeah. Bye, guys. Yeah, bye.